Today we're here to celebrate April as Donate Life Month, a wonderful opportunity to help save other individuals by registering as an organ and tissue donor. The state plays a critical role in this process as 99% of all individuals who indicate that they would like to register as an organ and tissue donor do so at the BMV. We're here to thank the BMV for the wonderful work they do each and every day, the governor, the secretary of state, and the staff for presenting this voluntary choice. We're here again to uh, celebrate organ and tissue donation, and we want to thank the governor for his time and declaring it equal Don uh, Donate Life Month here in Maine. Thank you so much, sir. Appreciate that. Thank you, and it's a pleasure to be here and to sign the proclamation for uh, organ and tissue donation. You know, it, it's interesting that 5,000 people in New England are awaiting life-saving programs. And even more dying with every 12 minutes, someone is adding to the list. So the decision to become an organ donor can save many lives. And, and, and I'm not sure if, it, if this means that they tell me 50 lives. I assume that one human being may be able to save 50 lives because there's so many tissues and organs that can be transplanted. And of course, Mainers always have a history of being very generous. And uh, they give the gift of life. And I've met several of them. It's really amazing. People have received an organ or someone who has donated an organ. And it's, uh, it's really interesting to me. You get a, a really sort of different feel for humanity when you see somebody that generous that are willing to give parts of their bodies to another person. And I guess we achieved a goal here, maybe 50% of people with a driver's license. Uh, now, uh, I've registered to uh, remain at the Bureau of Motor Vehicles to donate their organs. And when I become a driver again, I will do that. <laughs> I promise. Since they don't let me drive. In fact, I, only, I don't even have them for identification anymore. So, but it is a real pleasure to be here to be able to uh, participate in signing the proclamation for calling uh, April donation. And I, I hope all Mainers. Thank you. Got my driver's license. 
I went to the Ellsworth Branch the Motor Vehicle Bureau and I got the decal put on the back of my, on my license. Something I reviewed a few times over the years. At one point in the legislature, they distributed forms that, that could be witnessed as it became apparent that we needed to involve families in these decisions as well. Much later, as Secretary of State, I went to one of our annual conferences in, Mich in uh, Michigan. Grand Rapids, quite a destination. I encourage all of you to go there. And on the stage were the two secretaries, politically polar opposites. The Secretary of State of Michigan, who, like myself, has oversight of motor vehicles, Terry Lynn Land, uh, a, a true Ford Republican, and then the Secretary of State from Minnesota, Mark Ritchie, uh, one of our more progressive secretaries at the time. They were doing a joint <laughs> presentation. I thought, well, this should be pretty interesting. And what they were talking about were the, were the program changes that they had made in Michigan to make it easier for people to, to register as organ donors. And this is something we kind of toyed around with here with the New England Organ Donor Bank and how do we make it easier for people? What can we do to just make our, our systems quicker, easier, more user-friendly for our customers? Thinking as administrators and bureaucrats. And Mark Ritchie, Secretary of State of Minnesota, got up and told the wrenching story about his only child who was hit by a drunk driver and subsequently passed on. And the decision that his wife and he made to allow her to be an organ donor. And some time later, after they went through that uh, grief process, going through her papers and finding her renewed license that had just shown up in the mail, and she had checked off to be an organ donor. Uh, and we recommitted ourselves at that point to improving our processes and we talked to the state of Michigan and a few other states and the inform information resource of Maine which became a critical partner in developing our online system for registering as, as organ donors. And since that time, since that story that Secretary Ritchie told, I'm, I'm astonished at how often I'm going out in the world, meeting people, talking to them, and sometimes this topic comes up and someone out of the audience will come up and they'll say that they received a heart, or a liver, or corneas, or they had a loved one that chose to become an organ donor, and they all say the same thing, that that act helped them heal, helped them move on with their own lives, that their family member were able to do something that was important to them. It's almost that casual moment when you buy a lottery ticket and you say to your best friend, hey, if I win, I'll split it with you, and then you get to. It's just an enormous gift that people can lead happy, productive lives uh, in ways that we sometimes take for granted. So we're very proud of the work that we do as, a, as an agency in concert with the executive branch and the Information Resource Bank and the New England Organ Donor Bank to make this program uh, so easy for the public to use and to highlight issues here during Donate Life. So thank you very much, Governor, and thank you very much, Mr. Bogart.